beautiful people, this is your girl Priska and I'm this here and I'm here to talk about things that I've learned as I was becoming an author. And I was able to ask questions because someone else has been through it so it makes sense to just, you know, speak to them. <laughs> Any of the stupid questions that exist are the ones that are never been asked. But if they've never been asked, then do they really exist? Never allow anyone else to define who you are, but for you to discover your true potentials and your true gifting. It's the greatest gift you can have. How many words can you write in a minute and how many pages can you write in an hour? When you learn to establish your goals and your time according to pages rather than words, it makes life a lot easier. When you decide to hide yourself, people will not know who you are and they will not be able to see the person that wrote the book. So they will want to know more about you and what inspires you to even become the person you are today or the person you will become in the future. Number five, I've learned that dyslexia is just a word and it's not a barrier. When you allow yourself to think of the negativity you can be drawn to the negativity. So it's best that you see yourself who you'll become in the future rather than what you are now. Always have a pen and paper, even when you're outside, have a pen and paper in your bag or in your wallet. And if you ever have any inspirational ideas, you can write them down. There's nothing as worse as trying to find what you're looking for when you don't have it or you've left it. So having a pen and paper in your bag or in your wallet will help you to write down your inspirations without forgetting them. Eat as healthy as you can. Eating your power foods will help your brain cells to function well so that you can write the, to the best of your ability. It's important to keep your spiritual aspects alive as well as your physical. Uh. Baby, bruh. Woo! Now, father, when I think about your love for me.